Hey everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi, welcome. I'm Maddie. I'm an 18 year old, soon to be uni student. And today is the start of the uni content. And this is a video that I've wanted to film for so, so long. I have been collecting things for probably the last five months. Basically today I'm gonna to be doing a first year university haul, basically just showing everything that I've bought so far. I now move into uni in less than a month, which is absolutely terrifying. By the time this video goes up, I reckon it will be three weeks until I move, which is so scary but I'm excited it's gonna be good before I actually show you what I've got I did like a two minute really less than that actually mini vlog of me getting things in Ikea so I'll insert that in now so enjoy that we made it to Ikea I'm really excited I've got my bag, bag. <laughs> it's a great time <laughs> people are looking kitchen things I'm not sure what you need a frying pan for oh. eggs that I don't like yeah <laughs> no not need frying pan it's all spins all oh, same nothing no, definitely need. What do you reckon? Two saucepans? Yeah, definitely two. Oh my god, a saucepan for eight quid. Welcome to IKEA. Do I need heat proof pads and things? <laughs> uh, right, these tongs are 75p. How long are they going to last? Not very long, Not very long but. And I feel like I'm getting splinters. Okay. I'll get two of these then. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's for washing up. Whatever it does, it did. Should I just get one? What's one of those? That's gone straight in my basket. What is this? What is a, a draw map? For what? Oh, yeah, I ain't got a clue. A bowl, maybe a form of bowls. All the cooking that I will not be doing at uni because I can't cook. I'm gonna be living off of pizza and takeaways every night. I assume I'll have a kitchen bin. These are all the bits we've got so far. So excited. We're now moving into the home decoration bits. I'm gonna buy loads of fake plants, right? Yeah. Yes? Right. Do I have permission? No. <laughs> Literally going into a section that says the old flower station. It was made for me. We're finished and now we're going to join the immense queue, which is probably going to take us about half an hour. I do just want to say that there are a couple of bits which I haven't bought. I haven't got any knives yet. I haven't managed to get any. Ikea were all sold out. I went to Argos today, Dunelm and Wilco's and they literally didn't have anything. Okay, I actually think it might just be knives that I haven't got. I want to buy a hard drive because if you don't know, I'm going to uni to study filmmaking and obviously I'm not going to be able to fit everything that I make for uni onto my laptop. So I definitely need a hard drive. Other than that, I feel like I've mainly got everything. Obviously if I've missed something please let me know because the last thing I want to do is go to uni without something essential. I also want to film a reacting to my first year uni haul next year which is going to be interesting but yeah let's get on with the haul. If you could see the things around me this is crazy. I think that I'm just going to make my way around the room and the first thing that I'm going to talk about is cherries. This part of the video is very kindly sponsored by cherries. If you don't know who they are they're basically a company that sell your everyday essentials for a lower price whether that be food, kitchen cleaning stuff, bathroom cleaning stuff, beauty essentials, literally anything that you could possibly think of cherries probably sell it i have a lot of stuff in the box that is going to help me with uni i mean i did buy a couple of extra bits like chocolate and stuff like that but i mean it needs to be done so i'm going to start with the less essential things first like the chocolate i got two caramax obviously have to be done and maltesers they were the two lots of chocolate that i think i got next i got some black bin liners which obviously i'll need for my kitchen bin i got some plasters that they did which i mean i'm very clumsy so these are going to come in handy two charging cables for my phone. I recently got a new iPad and these are not the chargers that go into my iPad. So I'll just use it for my phone but I mean I have no problem with that. I now have extra cables so that's good and I'm pretty sure that these were literally like £1.50 or something like that. Like £1.50 each. Very cheap. Cotton wool pads. They're just like ones that you get in like Boots or Superdrug. Absolutely perfect and again really cheap. I'm pretty sure they're like 90p each. A plain black umbrella because let's be real I live in England and it rains a lot. The weather is very very unpredictable so I didn't have a plain umbrella and I really wanted one so when I I saw that cherries did one it was a no-brainer i can't think of the name for these apart from the fact that they're literally just cleaning sponges a pack of 20 for 70 5p 79p something like that it was ridiculously cheap perfect for cleaning in the kitchen in my bathroom i honestly don't think that i could have got these cheaper anywhere else so thank you very much cherries i suffer from allergies and hay fever so i got myself some allergy relief tablets hay fever pet allergy dust allergy and skin allergy it's got my name on it obviously the pandemic is still here so i got myself two lots of face coverings there's 10 masks in each so i mean that's gonna last me a while i think it's really good that cherries were selling these 
I think these were a pound each. We all know that I'm not a very good cook, but I am gonna be cooking meals and then maybe I won't eat it all. So I'm gonna need to freeze it. So I got myself some freezer bags, resealable, which is perfect. And again, these were really, really cheap. So I couldn't have got these cheap somewhere else. I got myself a pack of tea towels and here there's two different types of ones just for stuff in the kitchen. There's a plain one and then a waffle one. Tea towels aren't something that you need to spend a lot of money on. So cherries were the perfect place to buy them. I wasn't sure how much physical writing and highlighting and stuff I was gonna do, but I got myself some pastel highlighters because honestly, I don't even know where mine are. Last time I used them were at college and obviously I haven't been to college in quite a few months now. Got absolutely no idea where they are. So I thought that I would order myself some new ones. I got some microfiber cloths. There are three different ones in here. Perfect for cleaning. Then I got some Astonish bathroom cleaner. Obviously I've got an ensuite. I am a clean freak and cannot have mess around me or rub or anything like that in my bathroom. So this is gonna be a lifesaver. And last but not least, I got myself some pink stuff for my toilet. And that's everything that is in my cherries box. So thank you so much to cherries for sending me all of this. I cannot thank you enough. If you guys are interested in buying any of the things that I bought, or if you just want to have a browse on their website, then you can download the app and use my code MADSHOPE20 for 20% off your order. But please note that the code can only be used on the app. If cherries wasn't cheap enough, you've got some more money off. So in my opinion, it's a no brainer. I literally ordered this box two days ago and it's already arrived. I honestly cannot recommend cherries enough. That's everything that's in my box and let's get on to the next bit. The next thing that I'm going to show you is from Dunnell, which I bought today. A three tier era. It was only £10 and I knew that I needed one. This is going to be great for hanging all of my clothes on there. It should be big enough as well. I mean, it's three tiers. It's going to be perfect. I don't even know if it's going to fit in my room. I really don't know how big my uni room is going to be. This all probably isn't even going to fit in it, but I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. So a three tier era. This next thing was actually something that I got for my birthday from some of our really close family friends, basically family, but they got me a really nice photo board or if I want to clip notes on there, basically whatever I want to pop up, I can. Obviously at uni, I can't really put anything on the walls. So I'll probably just put this on my desk, but I just really like it. It's wood, loads of room for photos and anything that I want to clip onto there. It's going to go so nice in my room. You'll probably soon see that the theme in my uni room is mainly going to be gray. It's like they knew. Now the next thing was actually something that I bought today from Dunelm and it might not be something that I need, but it's definitely something that is going to benefit me, I think. And it's this, you probably can't tell what it is from this angle, but basically it's a laptop stand. So on the bottom, you can see that it's got legs, so it can be like a tray, but this bit also comes up for me to prop my laptop onto it. It was only 15 pounds and when I saw it, I was like, you know what? That's gonna be great. Cause obviously I do like quite a lot of my editing and stuff like when I'm laying in bed. So it's just gonna be easy to be able to have this up and then prop my laptop onto it. And it was really cheap and it's really good quality. So 15 pounds from Dunham. Moving on to my bits from Ikea, starting off with this bag. I think we actually bought a few of these cause I mean, it's just easy to store things in. Yeah, we got some more of the bags. We got four overall. I got a lamp for my bedside table. Spend quite a lot of time laying in bed. So I needed something beside my bed. I've got like a ceramic one in my room at the moment. Didn't really want to bring something ceramic to uni. I didn't think that would be very smart. Let me see if I can open this. I can't remember how much it was, but I know that it wasn't expensive. That's why we got it. And at the end of the day, it was only a bedside lamp. So I didn't need to spend loads of money on it. Oh, I actually think I got more tea towels. Okay, well, the more the merrier. Some wooden spoons, 50p each. It had to be done. Two sets of hangers. I kind of thought that I've already got loads of hangers. Obviously, in my wardrobe. I didn't mean to buy that many. And there's eight in a pack, 16 extra hangers. Three different shower puffs, is that what you call them? To clean myself. I am so excited for this. It's basically a plug, but with three USB ports so I can plug three chargers into this. That wasn't expensive either, that was really cheap. I don't think these are freezer bags. I think that these are just food bags, but obviously I'm still gonna need them. So this was from Ikea as well. I've got a couple of bulbs for my bedside lamp. Got some tongs, they were really cheap. They're plastic, they're not actually that good but they'll do the job. Now I actually thought this looked like a microphone which you would have seen in the little Ikea vlog part at the beginning. But it's a cleaner and it's got like a little suction bit on the bottom. Two extension leads. I spend too much time on devices and have way too many devices so room for four plugs on each which is just perfect for me. Tin opener was literally a necessity. One chopping board. Maybe I only need one chopping board actually. And the last thing bought from Ikea were the saucepans. There are three saucepans and the handles come in them. Yeah I mean I'm going to be doing so much cooking because I really know how to cook. I actually have someone in my flat. Her name is Alice, if she's watching this. 
hello. Alice is the most incredible chef ever. Alice can teach me how to cook. So that's it for Ikea, but now moving on to everything else, there's still so much. This is gonna be such a long video, I'm so sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. People like watching these. Next, we have a bag of a few random things from Dunelm. Two pillow protectors and a mattress protector. A mini piece cutter, because that is the main thing that I eat. £1.50, probably gonna break within the first week, but it was £1.50. Frying pan for cooking eggs. I don't even really like eggs. Well, I don't like the white of an egg, but I don't mind the yolk. I feel like Rapunzel from Tangled. A microwavable saucepan and lid for beans. Can't really think what else I'm gonna put in a microwavable pot, but I mean beans on toast, cook breakfast, bon appetit. And the last thing in the Dunelm bag, a pizza tray. As I said, I just eat too much pizza, but it's acceptable as a uni student, right? Maybe we'll go with yes. Right, so they are the bits in the Dunelm bag. There might be other little bits from Dunelm, I'm not sure. A bin for my bathroom. This is from Wilco's and I'm pretty sure it was like eight quid. It was really cheap. I have got a bedroom bin, which has got loads of stuff in it, so I'm not gonna go and get it, but that's basically a black wide bin and I got that from Cherries last year and I'm gonna take that to uni with me. A lovely mug with my initial on it. Got this for my birthday. Gonna be drinking lots of hot chocolate out of this because obviously it's nearly Christmas. Don't tell me it's not nearly Christmas because it is. It's less than six months, which means it's nearly Christmas. Oven mitts for me getting pizza out of oven and two silicon scrubs for cleaning things in my kitchen. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. During my trip into town today, I bought myself a desk light. I knew this is the sort of one that I wanted and it was actually really cheap. It wasn't even that much. I want to say it was 15 pounds. It's literally the light from Pixar. <laughs> a slotted spoon, a slotted turner, beans, fried egg. I already had this, so I can't tell you where it's from, but it's basically a flask for food. I quite often make myself pasta and then leftovers I just pop in here. I assume I will do the same while at uni. A tray of weird and wonderful things. Toothpaste, gotta clean your teeth. A cheese grater, I am a sucker for cheese. Is that sun cream? My mum's bought me sun cream. Didn't know that, but I mean, got a bit of sun cream in case miraculously it's sunny in Bristol. It's a colander, it's a sieve. Is everything that you need in one. I mean, it's actually just called a collapsible colander, but you could use it as a sieve. I mean, you couldn't because the holes are too big, but pretty smart. A couple of different baking trays, depending on whatever I'm cooking. It's a non-stick roasting tin, non-stick oven tray, tin tray. A duvet. I actually have a single bed at uni. I used to have a single bed before I got my king size one, I think I have now, but single duvet and a couple of pillows. Obviously, as I said, I can't really hang things on my wall, but I can use command strips. So I got two different types of them. I got the actual strips and then I got the ones with little hooks on. You'll see in a minute, but I did buy myself some fairy lights from Primark. I don't know how long they'll last, but the hooks are going to be perfect for them. I've done everything in this section. Now I'm moving on to this section and I feel like this is not necessarily the more important things, but I feel like there's actually more here. Kitchen foil and cling film. Spoon, turner. Wait, so I already had a turner. Now I have two turners. Okay, I mean two things that I basically already had, but that's fine. You can never have too many. I have a couple of rucks down here not old rucksacks but okay, I actually have three down here my blue cancan my pink guest bag which I actually got in America I think and my pink bag which was very kindly gifted to me by 17 London they also sent me a black Wimbledon bag I want to say it's called that is my baby I literally take that thing everywhere I'm gonna take a couple of sketchbooks with me because obviously I'm doing film and I like doodling anyway they are gonna be very helpful plastic storage pots whether I make lunch and put it in here or just put food in it anyway I don't really know a mattress topper. This was actually from John Lewis, I think. Yes, it was. I want to say this was the Any Day soft and light mattress topper. It was like £35, which I actually didn't think was that bad for a topper. And it's just going to make my bed more comfy. Mattress topper. Not really an essential, but it is important. Harry Potter DVDs. Got these for my birthday, even though I've watched every single one many, many times and have also read books and have spoken to Tom Felton and Oliver Phelps. And basically, I'm just the biggest Potterhead that you'll probably ever meet, but for some reason didn't actually have the DVDs. I just watched them on Sky. But now I have my DVDs and I'm very excited. However, I don't have a DVD player. So Maddie, how are you going to watch the films? Today I invested in an Apple USB Superdrive bought from John Lewis. Now I know what you're going to say. What the f 
fuck are you paying for for that price? But there were so many on eBay and Amazon for literally like 14 quid. And I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna buy an external DVD player for my laptop, I may as well get a good one. It's 79 pounds if you buy them on the Apple website, 65 if you buy it in John Lewis. But I managed to get this one for 50 because someone had obviously returned it. They'd taken the film off, but they hadn't actually opened the box. It's beautiful, look at it, oh my goodness. And we've already tested it out. I did put Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on. It's just perfect. And my laptop doesn't actually have a USB port, so I did have to buy an adapter. This was from John Lewis as well. It was 16.99, 17.99, I can't remember. I think it was 16.99, but I mean, bargain, right? too much money but i mean if i know that it's gonna be worth it then Woo. i have random things down here like i have woolly hats this is the next thing i didn't buy this i already had it it's a body hot water bottle in winter i'm cold i'm laying in bed what am i gonna do i'm gonna lay like this in my bed one of the best things that i have ever got in my life these are some copper ball string lights i'm not sure whereabouts i'll put these in my room maybe on my desk that's gonna look really nice actually and when they light up they're like a really nice coppery warm light can't wait to use them and bath mats. All of these were from John Lewis. So I got four light cotton face cloths, £1.50 for the entire pack. A bath sheet, another bath sheet, a couple of hand towels and a shower mat. Honestly, these are all from the Any Day range. So cheap. Honestly, I actually think they were more expensive in Dunham. Would highly recommend. Right, now all of my bedding, what is that? Oh my God, it's a spider. Oh my God, that is still alive. Oh, oh my God, leave. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, no, it's half dead. Okay, that's set me back a little bit. I don't like spiders. Well, now I'm really worried that there's gonna be more. Right, so I've gone for two different types of bedding. Both are obviously single. They are all the same style and everything like that. Just two different colors. So obviously I said that my theme is gray. Duvet cover, pillowcases, light gray. Duvet cover, pillowcases, dark gray, charcoal, whatever sort of color you want to call it. But my fitted sheet is like light gray. I only got one sheet. No, I didn't. There, I can see it on the floor. There is a dark gray sheet. I don't even remember buying that. I bought all of these bits when I was actually in Bristol. Basically, outside of my accommodation, I've got like a massive three-story Primark. My student loan is just gonna leave my bank account. But yeah, another fitted sheet. And it was all really cheap. Like these were 11 quid. Fitted sheets were £6.50 and the pillowcases were £3.50. Now, over the last few months, I have accidentally bought some pillows, which was really unnecessary and I really didn't need to buy any. And to be fair, I only bought three. Don't know where it's from, but it's really nice grey. I think it's gonna go really nicely on my bed four pounds from dunelm are you joking me it's like the softest thing i've ever had in my life and this was 20 pounds from john lewis beautiful if you ask me it's a laundry bin i want to say that that's probably from oh i can tell by the tag that it's from bnm a waffle fleece throw from wilco's i'm not sure how much it was sorry but it is very soft and is perfect for my uni room i can already tell a storage bin thing oh my goodness okay i'm not going to go through absolutely everything that's in here because a lot of the stuff is just extra cleaning stuff to things that I've already shown you. But I mean, there's also like toilet wipes, ibuprofen, shampoo, conditioner, paracetamol, so just stuff like that, really. Fairy lights, can't remember how much they were, but I just know they were really cheap. Kitchen roll and toilet roll. I think that's everything. As I said, if I have forgotten something, please let me know. Either comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I just really don't want to be going to uni without something that I know that I'm going to need. Cutlery. I do have cutlery and plates and kitchenware and all stuff like that. I just don't really know where it is it's probably all downstairs but that is everything that i'm taking to uni in my first year plus a couple of other things if like i remember little bits and bobs or non-essential things thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy uni content because it is starting and i am here for it i'm so excited if you want to see what i get up to on a day-to-day -day basis you can follow my instagram which is it's mad's hope and all of my links will be down below or you can just see my username on the screen right now if you want to have a bit of a chat about uni leave a comment down below dm me on instagram my dms are always open i honestly cannot express how excited i am to start making uni videos i can't believe the time is finally here thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a brand new video bye for now